Come on, mate. Are you trying to sell me a dud? Yeah. Because they love it. I know that restaurant workers particularly like you to accuse them of trying to Point rip the them off. Yeah. That's it. Don't ask nicely. And you'll get a Point little off your out. bill. <laughs> Life tip. Welcome back, mofos. This is No Stupid Questions. My name's Eddie. This is Tim, I believe. I believe so. And we're going to talk about something new today. What is that, Tim? Wine. Uh, our good friend, Anxiety Honey. How do I know when a wine is off? You've cracked open a bottle of wine, you've poured yourself a glass and mm -hmm. you've left it on the table or in the fridge. Maybe there's a little broken seal on the bottle or the cork's no good. So what are the things that you can see, smell and taste in a wine that makes you think, hey, this is a bit not quite right. I'm feeling a bit sad about this broken seal. Uh... <laughs> Without even taking a sip, mm -hmm. can you tell a little difference between glass A and glass B? Okay. So visually, yes. or visually, as they say in the wine world, yes. this fella here is, uh, it's like a, a crystal pond of some description. Yes. You could see the fish in there if there were indeed fish. <laughs> uh, whereas this fella is a little more like, it's uh, New Year's Day, you've uh, climbed out of bed, uh, taken off your, well, tried to find your pants, finally you find an empty bottle, you just, just take a sip of this old beer and there's a, there's a cigarette butter. That's how I'm feeling right now with this one. <laughs> well, I, I hope that's the bad one. <clears throat> now throw your schnoz into both glasses and you can tell me what you're smelling. It's a lot of fun, that one. Hmm. Let's go to Brown Town. Whoa. Jeez. That one's, um, that might have been open for a while. Mm. So even at this stage, you know, probably not the best to put that into the mouth, okay? Yeah. That's such an extreme example. But look, say you, you got a little bit of fruit, but there was a little bit of nuttiness there and you, you're not sure quite whether it's okay or not. Let's try both wines. Oh, good. This is my then, favorite bit. <laughs> and then we'll see, okay, mm. make a, a real conclusion. Mm. It's really, really nice. <coughs> it's refreshing. It's crisp, it's dry, it's rosé. And now we have something very Delightful. Very Thanks, Eggs. Ooh. It doesn't taste good, mm. and you definitely know that it's there's, yeah. there, it, there's something wrong with it. You're getting a lot of acid as well. And that's the other thing, like I've got like instant heartburn from mm. that as well. So you're gonna get a little bit more vinegary type action in there as well. Mm. It's not fun, you don't wanna drink it, it's unpleasant. So if it tastes like ass, uh, it's probably gone bad. Uh, I'm just gonna come join you for a second. We're getting eggsed. Yeah. It's just never, this rarely happens. Yeah. Um, so there's something a little bit different about the wines this time. And would you be able to hand us the off wine? Um, so the, that may have been one of the wines that you <laughs> had a little mold developing above that, uh, above that rosé. And you can see here that it is discoloring. <laughs> it has turned a bit of a yellowy <laughs> orange. It's, it's discolored for gravy. And there is certainly a vinegary smell. Would you be able to confirm that for me? <laughs> You're a terrible person. <laughs> oh. Jeez. All right, well, I'm just gonna leave that there and you can, you can wrap up. That's all that we have time for today. We're gonna wrap that up. I'm gonna go vomit mm. ferociously in the bathroom. Yeah. Keep sending in your questions. Um, we're gonna start looking for a new director. Yep. We loved having Submit fun Submit your today. resumes. Yep, yep. Um, Send them in to the links below. Yeah. Got any skills behind the camera? Can, you know, rock a GoPro. We're interested in hearing from you. Yeah, really interested in hearing uh, from you. And that's all from us. Thanks very much.